Hey everybody, thank you for joining me. Uh, welcome to my first ride of the Triumph Trident. Uh, thanks to Triumph UK who have lent me this for uh, just under two weeks to use as my daily and make some videos on. Uh, this isn't the review that comes at the end when I've, you know, had it for a couple of weeks and lived with it. This is the first ride. This is the jump on it and see how it feels. It was delivered yesterday. Unfortunately, it was raining all day. It was raining all morning. And this is the first time I've got out. The only riding I've done on this so far is 30 mile an hour roads. So now is the time that I'm going to get to feel it and experience it. Yes, I was on my knees because it's quite small. Uh, I'll point out straight away, I am six foot four and this bike is quite small uh, and that is causing me a small issue, which is my knees rather than sitting in the tank grooves here. Actually, if I sit balls to the tank, my knees are actually up here. And if I sit further back here, well, then they're more down here. But then obviously under hard braking, you can slide and I don't want to do that. So that's one of the only things I'll say. This is quite a small bike. The engine from this uh, is the old Street Triple S. Uh, so this is aimed at the A2 market. It comes with an 80 brake horsepower and it can be restricted down. And they're obviously aiming this to, to you know, compete with things like the MT-07 and stuff like that because it's the same sort of A2 bracket, same sort of bike, trying to get a bit of power, low down. Yeah, enough talking. I'll give you a quick look around it. It's looks-wise, I think it is, uh, it's all right. There's a few things that I would have done differently and I'll probably talk about those once I get to my review. Um, but there are things about this that I think looks very nice. They're obviously going for a retro look with the sort of like, it's like a really modernized Bonneville in ways because the tank's very Bonnie like. Um, obviously, we've got the round headlight and we've got the round display, and that's actually quite nice because look, you've got your little displays in it, but from sort of from the side, it looks like a more conventional style analog display. Um, very simple rain mode, road mode, as far as the traction control goes. Oh, and you can also switch it off, uh, and the ABS is just on. There isn't really anything you can do about that. It's just a standard two channel ABS system. So this is one of the cheapest bikes I think that Triumph's ever made, or should we say in recent years. And it is, as I say, aimed at the A2 market for that reason. It has a few oddities that I've already noticed uh, that'll be interesting to see if that sort of shows more later in riding, but there's this kind of delay on the throttle at lower revs. If you if you notice that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna twist it and let go. You see how it continues to rise? It's just a little bit weird. But anyway, should we get going? Now, as I say, I've not been able to open this up at all yet. And it, it feels like it's probably pretty quick. So the Trident is obviously aiming to be a cheaper option from Triumph for the A2 market. Uh, you know, it's not got a huge amount of bells and whistles given that it's just got the standard traction control two modes and the, the standard ABS and stuff like that. But that's good. Simplicity is something I like in a bike. Actually, this does feel very nice. It's quite a sort of bumpy, jarry ride on this road. The suspension seems to have both elements of softness and hardness, if you know what I mean. Sometimes you feel like you're being jiggled around a lot, but also in quite a firm way. Hard to explain, I know, but it just happens with some suspension. Uh, I have to see how that progresses over the days when riding this to see how I, how, I sort of, how I find it and if I think some improvements can be made. I have noticed that the, uh, the shower front forks on this are not adjustable at all the top caps are plain um that I, I mean i know that's going to add cost to a bike and they're trying to keep the price down but i mean come on you know sh shower adjustable forks are not exactly bars of gold Actually, this feels pretty good now. This bike feels a lot, lot better when you're up and going. You know, above 30, 40, 50 mile an hour, it starts to feel much better. The engine feels a lot happier. That, that weirdness of, you know, like the, the bottom end of the rev seems to be a bit delayed, doesn't seem to exist as much. I also thought that the engine braking on this was pretty weak to start with. And now I've realized you just have to be a bit more leery with it and you get some more decent, engine braking you've just got to allow the bike to rev out a bit
Okay, that's pretty fun because it, it feels like it's pulling and it's making some good noise and you're like, oh, and you're hunkering down. But it, uh, it isn't savagely fast. It's quite usably fast. That's actually quite good. Unfortunately, it would appear that I may have hit traffic. I was hoping that this time in the afternoon it wouldn't be too bad through here, but maybe I'm wrong. It's fine. We'll see how it feels. Just see what's like off the line. Okay, so it seems to hit the limiter in first at 44 miles an hour. It's quite talky. It feels pretty sort of aggressive and quick, but it's not, it's not ridiculous. It actually does fit into that pretty damn usable, but enough to be exciting category, which is not surprising because it's a 660. It's middle range, you know feels good so far. I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased about this. My uh, my original concerns about the feel about some of the things on this bike have been calmed once I started riding it differently. It seems to respond well to you being a bit leery with it. Everything seems to work just a bit better when you're just a bit aggressive and leery. There is an option available for this bike for a quick shifter, and I am not the biggest fan of quick shifters, I'll say. I mean, they're, they're perfectly good and they're fun to have when you have them, but I don't feel like I always want to use them. I'm, I might actually say with this one, I think it would be pretty good to have the quick shifter on it. It is an optional extra, I don't know how much it is. But uh, I, I do think that's something that would be good on this. To the motorcycle gods with the driver of this truck, please not turn right. Just anything but turn right. You can see where you've got to be careful as well. <laughs> this truck literally takes up both sides of the road. You come around a blind corner at 30 mile an hour and you meet that. You're going to need more than a plaster. N no. No, 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 no. Pli nope. I was trying to think what that smell was, and I, I now recognise it. It's odour to GT85. I've realised from watching videos I can stay out wider and see further around this corner. You don't have to slow down quite as much. Where's that truck? <laughs> Something I'll say here is this is one of my first rides and this kind of surprises me quite a lot. And that is that my first ride videos tend to do a lot better than the reviews. And that's a real shame because these first rides are literally, it's the first ride. I've, I've had a few hours experience with this bike at this point. In two weeks time, I'm gonna know this bike. I'm gonna know everything about it. And I'm gonna be able to pick out all the things that, you know, are a bit niggly and maybe become really annoying over time. Uh, maybe some of the things that at first you think aren't great, kind of, you get used to them as you learn the bike, you learn how it likes to be ridden. Um, so I do say, if you're, if you're interested in this bike, hit the subscribe button because then you're going to get to see this, the, uh, the full review in a couple of weeks' time. I'll do other videos in between. Certainly got... Oh my God! Oh, I've got to go back and look at that. Oh, hang on. So there's the tyre marks. It's 
So I'm guessing they came in here at great speed while turning, slid across all the gravel, maybe, yeah, you can see the lines through there, and then wham, and then the whole car lifted up, I'm guessing, and threw itself over there if the recovery people haven't moved it over. Well, I hope you're all right, whoever you were, but my God, Jesus. <laughs> oh God, look, we buy cars <laughs> like vultures. Oh, that weather looks nasty. I think there might be some rain on the way. Let's head back my way because for a first ride, I feel like I'm actually, uh, I've achieved what I need to achieve, which is get to know the bike. Find how it likes to be ridden. You know, that's exactly what people mean by building a rapport with a bike. It's not savage, it's not scary, it's enough, it's good. It's chalky that when you're in the corners you can pull out them, but it's not too, it's not too much for an A2 rider, right? that's all I'll say. I mean, don't get me wrong, you can get yourself in trouble in anything, but this kind of gives you a moment to think, hmm, should I? I don't know if you heard that. This bike just made the perfect Jetsons, um, like the sound of their cars. That was brilliant. Well, there we go. I'm going to now head back. <laughs> he pushed out in the road without looking one way and then he stacked it. <laughs> oh no, he's got AirPods in. He can't hear us. I'm going to take a minute and say, if you're somebody who watches my channel regularly, and we've been watching a long time, you're a subscriber, you regularly like videos, or you even support this channel through Patreon, and that's truly the only way this channel is possible, YouTube alone would not be enough for me to do this as a full-time job. Patreon is the thing that makes the difference. Um, and obviously it gives me more scope to do more interesting videos in the future. Uh, and I just want to say... <laughs> I just want to say thank you so much. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more on it, and as I said just now, if you'd like to help support this channel, then please consider doing that through Patreon. I will catch you in the next one very soon. Hopefully the weather holds out and I can get out on this lots.